Diego's repairs need to happen offensively. The Broncos need to patch up defensively. One has to get better in the important Week 5 AFC oh, West battle. Hey, how are you, folks? Jason Horowitz and NFL.com. It's Pat Kerwin with you breaking out 1-3 and three San Diego, 2-2 two and two Denver, and exactly what this man said. It is up in the air for both these teams. The Chargers on a three-game losing streak. The Broncos on a two-game slide. One has to end. Which team's problems do you think are more fixable? Um, I, ca I kind of think the problems in San Diego are more fixable. Now, their defense is playing lousy, and they're giving up 33 points a game in the last couple of games. That's ugly. It's almost incomprehensible if you saw these guys play defense last year. Um, I look at them and say, that can be fixed. Uh, to me, when you get down to it, it's not about LaDainian Tomlinson. He's touching the ball 24 times a game. He only touched it 25 times a game last year. So they're on course there. It's Phillip Rivers. Now, both quarterbacks in this game have thrown more interceptions and touchdowns, so it's going to get done and which quarterback makes the least mistakes. Uh, let's get into the other side here because sure. with, with, you got LaDainian Tomlinson, you're talking mm -hmm. about Phillip Rivers, so let's talk about the Broncos' defense because they are 31st in the league against the run. And in my head, I can't comprehend that. When you know you've got Champ Bailey and Dre Bly and you know you can leave them one-on-one, -on -one, why can't they stop the run? Well, it goes back all the way to, to me, it goes back to when they decided not to re-sign Trevor Price and they let him go. We know what Trevor's done for Baltimore. Since then, it's been one experiment after another with other guys' players in there trying to get the right combination. Last week, Sam Adams wasn't even active for the game because they, you know, quote-unquote, didn't set up against that Colt offense. But as soon as that happened, we see Joseph Adai running the ball. So they don't stop the run very well without Sam, but they don't rush the passer very well with Sam. So you got some problems in there, and that you're just going to have to. And, and really, when it comes down to it, when you start thinking about what they have to, it's time to scheme the defense. I hate to say because you can get burned with that, but you might have to start scheming more pressures. And where's Al Wilson? Well, he's not there. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the problem. Al Wilson is not there. They didn't bring him back either. All right. So having said that, you talked about Ladanian Tomlinson and where he is as far as touching the football. Does he have a huge game? I think he will have a big game. This guy scored seven touchdowns against the Denver Broncos last year, and I know he's frustrated. I'm going to guarantee you that he's talked to a coach or two about, hey, give me more opportunities. Throw me the ball more. Give me more runs. Take me over my limit that you have set for this season, and let's get back on our winning ways. And when you're in trouble, you got to lean on your best players. It's time to feed the ball to Ladanian. You know that Gates is going to deliver. He's, delivering the, he's got 33 already. He's seven or eight a game. The other side, the outside receiver, Mr. Jackson, I, he's not a real fast player, but he's good. you're going to have to take some shots from downfield, open things well, up. He's not fast, but he's tall, and that's where that comes that's in, right. a jump ball. You got it's, like it Porter, it's like Jerry Porter in yep, Oakland. Yep. You, you know, good in the red zone, but in open field, you need to stretch it out more. And that's exactly what Vincent Jackson can bring them. As for Jake Cutler, yeah. it has not been a good start to the second half of the season, it, you know, especially now that Javon Walker's there. They're, they, relying on the running game is working fine because they're running the football but when your defense is giving up all those yards on the ground, you're not touching the ball that much. So can they rely on the ground game in this one and eat up so much clock? Well, I don't think they can. I think, you know, you're talking about a de defense in San Diego that has Merriman and, and a couple guys over there and the big nose tackle. They can clog things up. They can make you become a passing team. They haven't played well enough for me to make that statement, but we know more about them, we, and I believe they'll get this fixed, and they'll get to the point where they're going to make you a throwing team. Cutler is, is really experiencing the same things as Leinart in that it's second year. People know a little bit about you. They're creating problems, except Denver has really nowhere to turn. So Cutler's going to stay on the job, and he could make a mistake or two late in this game to cost him the whole game. We'll have game. to see how that works out in this one because Denver does not want to fall to 2-3 and three in the AFC West, although, mm -hmm. truthfully, that's where San Diego would be with a win also. Let's take a look at the AccuScore prediction. And uh, 10,000 tests, 10,000 results, all mathematical, no human element, 53% of the predictions. Chargers came out on top, as we expect, a close game. Do you expect the Chargers to win on the road? I expect the Chargers to win this football game. I think they feel a little bit more desperate. I think Phillip Rivers is a, is a guy that can look at himself and see what he's doing wrong. He's, he thinks the pressure is on him. Now, there's a lot of pass rush pressure on him, so he's made some bad choices by throwing the ball early to places where people weren't open. I think he'll correct some of those things, but they can lean on LaDainian. I like the score that the computer came up with, and I like the team they picked. Close game, and you like San Diego to win it. It's one problem, though, is the Chargers, they do struggle historically in Denver. They won their last season, but they haven't won consecutive games in the Mile High City in nearly 40 years. So that is a long streak to break, but it's just history. They try to accomplish that and end a three-game losing skid starting at 4.15 p.m. Eastern on CBS. And for more on this game or any other heading into Week 5, be sure to stay with CBSSports.com. Watch everything else on the CBS Audience Network. For Pat Kerwin, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take, Take care. care. Thank you, sir.